Do you have a crush on someone and are unsure if you should ask them out? Well, today we're here to help you out with a few ways to tell if someone wants you to ask them out. And if you should, here are seven signs you should ask them out and how to do so. Number one, they look at you often. Do you catch your crush staring at you from time to time? This is a common way to tell if someone has a crush on you. In an article for Psychology Today, behavioral analyst John R. Jack Schaefer, PhD, explains that people look at people they like and avoid looking at people they don't like. Schaefer goes on to say that the neurochemical oxytocin may be responsible for increased eye contact. Elevated oxytocin levels increase mutual eye gaze and provide a sense of well-being, which increases mutual attraction. Most often, people wanna take a peek at their crush from time to time. When they do so, they may get caught staring at you because of how attractive they find you. If when you spot them, they quickly turn away and blush, this could be a sign that they're shy and embarrassed you saw them stealing a glance at you. People also try to catch their crush's eyes when they like them, to let them know that they like them. So if when you see them, they linger a bit and give a smile, this too could be a sign they want you to approach them and make a move. Number two, they smile and blush, but only at you. Do you notice your crush often smiles and blushes when you approach them and their friends? You've noticed they give a polite and friendly smile to others, but something seems a bit different when you approach. Their smile either seems more flirty or perhaps it seems they give you a sweet smile with a blush. These are good indicators that they like you. Discussing attraction in a Mind Body Green article, clinical psychologist Mary C. Lamia, PhD, points out that blushing is an honest response, which can often be set off by someone feeling caught being sexually excited about another person. Number three, their friends know a lot about you. When you meet their friends, do you notice they seem to smile as if they've heard something about you? It's like they know a secret and are excited to finally meet you. That secret being that their friend likes you, hopefully. If you find your crush's friends seem to know a lot about you, when you haven't told them anything, it's likely their friend couldn't stop talking about you with them. Why? Because they like you too. Number four, you can't stop thinking about them. When you have a friend, do you think about them all day and night? Probably not. If there's someone that you're thinking about all the time, what they're doing, if they're thinking about you, maybe even some butterflies when you think about them, this might be a sign that it's time to ask them out. On the Harley Therapy Counseling blog, Dr. Sherry Jacobson explains that this constant thought cycle on your crushes can be due to us being programmed by society to idolize unhealthy romantic attraction. She also explains that some of us experience love like an addict. This is supported by Catherine Wu, a Harvard third year graduate student who explains that our brains release dopamine and norepinephrine when you're feeling attracted. Those feelings make you feel giddy, energetic, and euphoric even leading to decreased appetite and insomnia. So if you've been thinking about a special someone a lot, this might be your sign to ask them out. Number five, flirtation. Do they often make flirty jokes? Are they playfully flirty around you? If someone is flirting with you, it's a pretty clear sign that they're interested in you. The question is, are they interested in getting to know you on a deeper level as well? If they both show a genuine interest in you and pair that with a bit of flirting, then they probably want you to make the first big move and ask them out. Number six, they remember. So what if they're not the flirty type? If they've shown some of the previous signs, it could be that they like you, but another way to tell if they care is to see how much they remember about you. Try having some deeper conversations or just letting them know a few interesting or even general facts about yourself. Perhaps you bring up your previous conversations in the future. Do they remember them? If they seem pretty clueless as to what you're referring to, especially if it was an emotional or important topic, then it could be that they're uninterested or perhaps they have a pretty bad memory. And number seven, proximity and comfortability. Do you notice your crush often tries to be alone with you? Wouldn't you wanna be alone around your crush to get to know them better or to perhaps take them out? If they make it a point to be closer to you than their other friends, it could be that they're trying to be alone with you so they can attempt to ask you out. They may even try to simply be in close proximity with you when you're in a group setting. Behavior analyst John R. Jack Schaefer, PhD, notes that people lean towards people they like and distance themselves from people they dislike. Inward leaning increases as rapport increases, but perhaps they can't help but feel nervous and shy away from asking you out in the end. If you're comfortable around them, like them, and find you can't stop thinking about them, 
it seems it might be a good idea to simply ask them out yourself. So how do you even begin to ask someone out? If you don't actually know them that well, try talking with them for a bit before you jump straight into the decision. You may both be a bit nervous if you do have crushes on each other, so try to make it a habit to talk to them and make them feel comfortable. Once the conversation seems to be going smoothly, perhaps try to throw in some hints that you like them by giving them a meaningful compliment. What is it that you like about them? Let them know in a respectful and flirty way. If you've already hung out together and are already friends, you may wanna give them a few hints that you think of them as a potential romantic partner and then ask them on a date. This means making it clear it's a date, commonly by saying it's one when you ask. So beforehand, continue giving them some compliments, catch their gaze, smile at them differently than a friend might. As long as you're not giving them a creepy stare and smile, you should be good. Read their body language too. Do they look uncomfortable? Are they not smiling back? Then it might be that they don't want to be approached by you. Don't ask them if they've made it clear they're not interested. But if they are instead showing the signs mentioned in this video and they haven't said that they're not interested, it could be that they're hoping for you to ask them out. Work up the courage, practice your confidence, and feel free to go for it. Sometimes it might help to ask yourself, would I regret it if I didn't try and ask them out? If the answer is yes, it can be a good idea to put ourselves out there and seize a great opportunity when we can. So if you've been admiring them and they've been giving some clear signs they feel the same way about you, then what are you waiting for? Knowing if you should ask someone out can be super nerve wracking. Actually asking them out can be a whole different ball game. Did you notice any of these signs in someone that you think is crushing on you? Let us know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to click the like button and share it with a friend or your crush. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching.